Well, hey, this is a last minute thing going on here. Uh, yeah, go figure. Uh, I couldn't find a talking with Tiny this morning. And uh, don't know uh, where or what's going on. So uh, we're just uh, going to come in here and uh, we're going to start up. We're live on both my channel and on uh, Tiny's channel. Uh, let's see. One person's logged in. Uh, so uh, hopefully everybody is doing all right. Yep. Uh, just got an alert that somebody's live on my channel. So, hey, hopefully that's me. Uh, hey, Brown Sugar, good morning. Good morning to you, Miss Amy Harrell in the house. Good to see you. Good to see you. I uh, talked to Bassman. He said that he's going to be coming up here shortly. So I just wanted to see how everybody was doing. Uh, as I was uh, saying earlier, uh, I've been trying to reach out to Tiny. Uh, haven't uh, heard back from him uh, yet. Uh, actually, he's starting to get a little concerned. But uh, I did get a hold of Bassman. Bassman is on his way. So uh, we will have a little bit of an auction preview going on here. Just going to give uh, folks a few minutes to uh, get logged in since uh, there was no warning about this going to be happening. But I do see seven nice people on, in the chat. Good to see everybody this morning. Uh, if you haven't done so already, uh, go on ahead and hit that thumbs up and show a likey likey. Uh, we will be, uh, picking this up here, uh, shortly. Uh, we also are going to have our, uh, auction preview. So, okay. So 10 party people in the house. Uh, so how is everyone doing today? Uh, good to see everybody here. Uh, as I said, this is being simulcast both on Tiny and my channel. So, uh, first time for everything. Uh, Jonathan Smelk, working and lurking. Jonathan Smelko, watching and liking. Good to see you, sir. As always, Miss Amy Harrell, who's a sponsor of Tiny's channel. Good morning, Miss Amy. And hey, we have somebody in. We have somebody here with us. Yeah. Hey, we got the bass man. Good morning, sir. Hey. So Give me good. just a second. I'm gonna be. I gotta start my. I gotta pull my chat out. And get it ready. Okay. I'm gonna take a sip here. And uh, now we're starting to see people uh, streaming in. Good to see everybody this morning. Uh, yeah, so uh, I don't know about you, uh, Bassman, but I haven't heard from Tiny, and actually I'm uh, a little bit concerned. So hopefully everything's all right, but uh, yeah. I hadn't heard from him, and every time I send a text, it kicks it back saying not delivered. So mm. I would say his internet is out or, or we're gonna have to send up the search dogs. Yeah. Because he hadn't he hadn't responded and that Yeah, normally he gets right back to you. So yeah. me on the other hand, I mean, yeah, you can yeah, what does that guy want? All right. Well, we are starting to get some people in here. We have 15 party people with, between the two channels. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. Uh, this is also being streamed on Coins Making Sense because, honestly, I had no idea what was going on for Tiny. So right. decided to put it onto both channels today. Yes. I'm glad you did because I, I didn't know what to do. I started to try, try to open one and see if I could put up the sign that there wouldn't be one. But then mm -hmm. I got sick, so I had to stop. Oh. So, man, you know what? It seems like just all the luck today. It's just yeah. nobody's having any of it. All right. All right. Well, 
I know I've been rambling some of the hellos, but we now have 15 party people here in the audience. If you haven't done so already, please smash that thumbs up. We want to give Tiny all the good vibes that we can this morning. Uh, starting off, we had our first person right off the bat. And I can't do Tiny's call any justice. So I'll just give it a brown sugar 0069. Yes, sir. Also, once again, we have Miss Amy Harrell in the house. Great seeing you. Good seeing you. Uh, Mr. Jonathan Smelko, good morning. Watching and liking. Good to see you. Ah, also have uh, KG Corn saying hello to all. Hopefully you and Miss Smile Smile are enjoying your day. Ah, got the Silver Gator. Hi, how y'all are? So glad for me to see you. I guarantee MT. Good morning, sir. And, hey, some bass man is uh, in the channel here. Yeah, he's trying anyway. Yeah. Oh, no, I hear I hear that. I did the pull-out chat, and I'm not seeing everybody. Well, that's because we're on the two different streams. So some people are on my stream. Some people are on Tiny's stream. Okay. Well, I so, knew I was, I was typing, and you were saying names I never saw. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have to go by the uh, StreamYard chat. Because right. in all honesty, if anybody out there in YouTube land is listening, we need so to devise some way where when channels are simulcasting like this, where the information from one chat gets shared with the other. Now, I don't care if there's a delay or something, but at least let the information cross the paths. Uh, something like that would be YouTube gold. So, uh, seeing a couple more friendly faces coming into the confines here. We have Mr. Dennis D. in the house saying hi to Kevin and Bassman and to all. Good morning, sir. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's not too blustery down there in Indiana today. Well, I'll tell you what it was here yesterday. Oh, man, I hear you. I, you know, I swear Mother Nature needs to get back on her meds. Yeah. Because, yeah, I am tired of these 70-degree days followed by these 30-degree days. Right. And then, like I said, yesterday it was so windy here, you had to, you know, oh, hang yeah. on to something to walk around because it about blow you over. Yeah, need and, to hold on to your mop top. Yep. If, you wouldn't, if it wasn't nailed down, it was going to move. Yeah. We, we put our, we put our uh, trash can out yesterday. Mm-hmm. My son kept having to go out and put the lid back on. <laughs> he kept blowing it open. Oh, I shouldn't laugh. I have to do that tonight. Oh, righty. Ah, oh, we also have Razek the Discoverer. Man, haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you, good sir. Hello, all. I got me a box of half dollars. Sounds, sounds yeah, like you that. got yourself something to do. Yeah. Hey, Brother Compton, in the house. Here I am. Good to see you, sir. And whoa. Whoa. They're, they're, they're moving on us. <laughs> they're changing. <laughs> oh, good to see you, Brother Compton. Then also in the house, we have Mr. Scott S. saying hi to everyone, someone, and anyone. The entire one clan is here today. The ones are here. Yes, sir. Good morning. Ah, uh, good morning to everyone. 18 party people here in the house. We are simulcasting both on Coins Making Sense and on Tiny Numismatics. Because honestly, I don't know what's we don't know what's going on with Tiny. Uh, we've been trying to reach him all morning, and uh, hopefully everything's all right. So uh we just thought we'd come on, throw him some hours, throw me some hours. And you know what? If you haven't done so already, go in there, hit the thumbs up, show the likey likey, 
always show YouTube who's boss. So, uh, I don't want to worry about it because everybody would be disappointed. They didn't, they didn't get to see their, their review this morning. Oh, I know. Yeah, we have, we have an auction preview this morning. Hey, break out the soup and quackers. We have a lucky duck in the house. Good morning, sir. And actually, I thought I saw somewhere uh, up there on YouTube that uh, somebody did another review on uh, your uh, pack, your uh, uh, blind packs from uh, eBay. Uh, those are very popular, man. I'm glad to see that. All right, we got Mr. Jack Gallman from Marion, North Carolina. Good to see you, sir. Hello, hello. Oh. Mr. Wiles Palladino on the P3, on the road, on the phone. Good morning, friends. Good morning to you, sir. Don't be driving and texting now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stop. yeah. Stop so you can text. <laughs> exactly. I mean, there's a reason why Siri yeah. is there. A lot. Alexa is there for That's a right. reason. Get that get that yeah. voice recognition going. Yep. Uh, Scott S is reporting that he got his three roll American Women quarter sets yesterday. Very nice. Uh, I want to say I got mine on Monday for the Patsy Takamoto Mink uh, quarters. Yep, I just opened up the box yesterday, and uh, they're looking good. So glad to see that. Uh, Amy, yeah, you're only going to see who's on Tiny's channel. Oh, off by one. You know what? Let's see if we can uh, get some tomfoolery going on here. Uh, so let me see if I can get the chat to come up in the stream somehow. Uh so we can try to present, uh, share a screen. We have the, okay, I'm not seeing where to do it. And there's something from work. So we'll just ignore that. For really the moment. strange how they do think you, you think it would be something they've done a lot. Well, no, exactly. But okay, let's see here. Scene sources. Yeah, let's see if we can update this. Let's try to edit. Let's get from a not a media source. I want to do a window capture. Yeah, let's do a window capture and boom. Whoa, okay. So, yep, okay. That will work. But we only want a very little bit of this window. So, let's try doing uh, this. And you're seeing a lot of the background here for uh, my OBS that I use. Let's get it to about here. And let's get it to about here and we will add that here and let's make that big all right so we are now okay i know how to do it on there so we can actually see this a little bit here so hopefully y'all can see that, or at least when I'm going to go to the big screen, you might see it. I was going to say, you don't, you don't need me on the screen right now anyway, so won't you go ahead and make it big? Oh, man, you're, you're good. I can still talk to them. All right. Well, then let's go to the solo layout. There you go. And we'll hide the current comment. So... Uh, Brother Compton is uh, showing that it's having bad phone service today. Sorry to hear about that, sir. I uh, hope. Well, he's yeah, I was going to say, I saw, that, I saw that post from Tiny Numismatics, and it was like, yep. okay, was yeah, that, <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that's texting it from inside of the Yeah, I texted it from his. Yep. 
See, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, they always say in Ghostbusters, don't cross the streams, right? Right? Yeah. All right. And we have C. Gorilla Stacker in the house. Greetings from the San Diego airport on my phone waiting for my plane. Well, sir, hope you have yourself a good flight. Hope you get yeah. to your destination safe and sound. And everything is all good. Ah, Compton had to restart his phone twice, man. Ah, that's no bueno. Hey, Mr. Eddie Worley in the house saying it's more legible if you made it show up like you made Amy Harrell's comment. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. And uh, it's going to end up blocking a little bit of the text. So, but you know what? We're, we're making things work. We're trying to get things going. Yeah. 20 wonderful people that are in the house. Great seeing you today. Great seeing everybody. Right. Considering we had, what, two minutes? <laughs> Not even. <laughs> to really? get ready? Yeah. I mean, we, had, we had no idea what was going on. Yeah, we just texted each other back and forth, and it's like, okay, have you heard from Tiny? What's going yeah. on? No, there's no stream up. So, yeah, it yeah, it's just... Yeah, we're flying blind here, so every, everybody, yeah, uh, we couldn't get a hold of uh, Tiny this morning, so uh, we're just coming up here, and uh, we're going to do a bit of an auction preview here, actually, in a couple of seconds. We normally start that at the 20 after mark, so uh, we have a question. Uh, Scott S., which of the 1982 Denver pennies is worth more. I have a small date, but it weighs 3.1 grams. Yeah, I think it's the small date, but I think it's the small date zinc, which is the one that's worth more. And that one has the lighter weight. So 3.1 grams, that should be a copper cent. I'd have had to look it up because I don't know the weights of the two, but I... I... Yeah, thing, yeah, thing is, well, I want to say it's, what, 2.8 grams or something like that I don't know. Uh, it's, it's way under what you'd think it'd be i thought it would weigh as much but mm -hmm. oh no yeah uh no that was a big thing back in the day because uh none of the machinery uh all the machinery had to be uh retooled for uh accepting the new weight on the penny because mm -hmm. it was no longer the same weight many many years ago i visited disney world down in orlando mm -hmm. and I was going through something we had here at the house and I found a one of those smashed penny things. Oh, uh, elongated scent? Yeah. And I turned it over and you can read 1982 barely, barely in the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I told Tiny, I said, I don't know if I should weigh it. <laughs> you know, you know what? what? It shouldn't lose any mass. So you know what? It yeah. It'll be 2.5 or 3.1. Yep, that's what I said. It it should be there one way or another. So I may I may get the scale out and try it. Yep. Hey, that that'd be worthy. All right. So it is 20 after, and we have an auction tonight. So. But you I can't see if it's a small date or a large date. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can catch it just so much. I mean, yeah. yeah it's just a little mush. Uh, yeah, Eddie Worley is correct. Yeah, it is a unicorn of a coin. Two to three of them have been found at all. And yeah, yeah it's a matter of the correct planchet being in the bad planchet being in the hopper with the real regular ones. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like finding a 1977 silver uh, Kennedy half mm -hmm. or lit, or what everybody's familiar with, the copper 43 pennies right. from Denver. So, yeah, they, they are yeah they are the magical unicorn out there. They're worth thousands of dollars, and you probably don't have one. <laughs> Odds are. <laughs> Yeah, odds are a few million to one. Yeah. yeah. 
Actually, no. A few billion to one, especially with that 43 penny. Because mm -hmm. they made it then, the billions, those steelies. All and right. People so, have been looking for that a long time. So. The truth. And all the ones you find tend to stick to magnets. Yep. All right. So we have an auction tonight, and we're going to do a little bit of a preview here. So I am going to, while I still have it on my screen, I'm going to copy the chat so people can still follow along. And I'm going to change my view. And I'm going to paste a reference. And okay, it's going to block me. So I don't care. It's all good. So let's uh, get going. We have ourselves 12 items up for sale tonight. Uh, going to be on Coins Making Sense. So let me see. If I can uh, get to my list and let's see, we have auction item number one, which is going to be, we have a buy it now, which is the 1971 silver blue pack Eisenhower dollars. Got the uncirculated Ike there. Yeah, that is that lining. Actually, I'll probably be taking that one out because I'm seeing that lining on the actual coin. So uh, this one might not be as good of an example, but we will uh, see what we shall see tonight. Uh, open The Buy It Now bid is going to be $15, and there are seven available. That is the tonight. Okay, start bidding now. Ah, so I see, man. And, yep, there are seven available. Okay. Okay, next up to bat. Uh, nope, wrong commemorative. It is going to be this two-coin uh, commemorative Liberty Coin Series from 1986 in the blue pack. Back when uh, the Mint actually knew how to do some packaging they had the nice velvet case and inside there you have a uh, silver dollar Ellis Island and the clad half dollar there. Nice pretty. So we got that here coming up tonight in the original government packaging. Ah. Were those proof? Uh, yes, sir. They are proof. I was gonna say they all, I could see the I could see the reflection in them. Yep. Okay. Hey, coin crew's in the house. Good morning, sir. Okay, what do we have next on the list? We have a seated liberty. So where is that seated liberty? I don't see it at the moment. Oh, there she is. Sorry about a good view of the my arm. So we have an 1877 San Francisco minted. And I'm giving this fine to very fine details. There's a lot there on the eagle. Got a lot of wing, got a lot of the uh, center shield. Flip that over and Lady Liberty's there. Got a full liberty in the shield, uh, just slight wear on the arms and on her gown. But yep, this is going to be item number three in tonight's auction. And let's put that there. So item number four. Now. Ah. And my email is going off, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, we have a 1930 Buffalo Nickel PCGS graded AU58. And just that luster on there is just oh so nice. And honestly, I swear, AU50, the difference between AU58 
and uh, having a uh, MS-63 must be a hair's breadth away. So, yeah, uh, Keith. Uh, let me interrupt you just a second. Uh, I just got a text from Lala. It said that there are storms through the area last night and their internet is out. Oh, okay. Well, that's, I hate to say that that's good news, but honestly, that's good news. I had sent her one and I was wondering why she hadn't responded. And she said she, on, in the end of her text back, it says, I don't know how this one got through. So mm. she got my, she got my text, but uh, they can't get back out. Mm -hmm. And uh, Keith is asking, how does uh, he get to Tiny? Uh, if you, Keith, if you go to uh, the auction spreadsheet, uh, Tiny's uh, PayPal information is listed there. I'll list the spreadsheet for you. Thank you, sir. Get down there to it. There you go. Yep, yeah, that's very, very relieving news, Wiles. Yeah. So, yes, we have a 1930 Buffalo nickel. Not the only Buffalo that's going to be in the auction tonight. Uh, AU58, and as I was saying, 58 and 63 are like a hair's breadth away. Good to see you, Keith. Yep. Glad to have you in the house. Have a good day. So yeah, that is auction item number four. Number five. Now this is this is just something. This is a 1922 San Francisco minted piece silver dollar. I'm giving it AU to BU condition because I really don't see anywhere. It's just the dulling effect that I'm seeing on the luster. But I'm not really seeing anywhere. Mm -hmm. So this has some monster color in a crescent. 1922, San Francisco. And this is going to be auction item number five in tonight's auction. Uh, number six, we have, okay, why does that say 1939S? Okay, not everything is an S in this auction, folks. I am coming in here, and I am marking this. This is a 39 Denver Walking Liberty. I know that I typed in Denver. 1939 Denver Walking Liberty 50 cent piece half dollar silver half NGC graded AU 58 once again a 58 is a hair's breadth away from a 63 it's pretty much whoever's having a bad day because honestly this is a very nice 58 Uh oh, Scott S. just got a call from the CBP. Wanted to know if I had any packages coming from Mexico. They come up with more and more scams, you know? I swear. Yeah. And uh, this is auction item number six. Okay, now, I'm going to warn folks about this one. We're going to see how the color comes off of this, but this is a 1945 San Francisco War Nickel. Now, in hand, I am seeing reds, greens, and yellows. I'm seeing mostly green on uh, the uh, 
I can tell red and yellow in there. I don't yeah. The green so but this well, is, the yellows are kind of a greenish color, so it's hard yeah. to see. So, but I mean, yeah, this is a gorgeous toned Jefferson nickel, war nickel, so 35% silver. It looks like it's got a rotation thing, too. And just a little bit. Oh, yeah. But still within tolerance, so it's about a 10 degree yeah. turn. But, I mean, yeah, actually, you can see that on the reverse because, like, right by Monticello, it's still a white silver. Right. But, yeah. Right underneath the Monticello there. Yeah. But, I mean, the rest of this are the golds and the greens and the reds are vibrant, are pretty vibrant. So this is going to be up for availability for auction item number seven. All right, number eight. We are going to the Morgans. So we have an 1884 New Orleans Mint Morgan Silver Dollar PCGS graded MS63. And coming on to the reverse, wow. got all the breast feathers. Those wings are majestic. And, okay, why is the reverse always better than the obverse? I swear, I don't know why. But gorgeous, gorgeous Morgan here. 1884, New Orleans. In PCGS graded MS sixty three. Now you want Lincoln Sense. This is a second year, nineteen ten. Lincoln Wheat Scent. How it's still red, I have no idea. Somebody must have babied this. I'm calling it red brown in the description, but yeah, there. There's a lot of color still on here. Is it a is it a Philadelphia? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, if it, if it was San Francisco, this thing would be like quadruple the price. Right. Because 10s is a low print mint mintage. Right. So if you're going for your early wheat scents and you're looking for coins that are blazing beauty like this, I'm looking right now to see if I got it. And that is item number nine on tonight's auction. I got the P, but not the S. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, the P is the easy one to get, but it's not easy to find in this kind of condition. No, that's a, that's a good condition for one. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, this was the other commemorative that I was uh, reaching for earlier. Here we have the American Buffalo commemorative coin. From 2001. And this is in its original GOP package. And inside we have a certificate. And just past that, we have ourselves one humdinger of a buffeller. Now, this is a Buffalo dollar. I was going to say, that's a big one. Yep. 2001, they made the commemorative for the American Buffalo nickel. Mm -hmm. Pretty much they just took the design for a Buffalo nickel and graduated it all the way up to $1. Wow. So this is up for auction tonight. I've not seen that in before. Item number 10. These are tough one to find. Yeah. And, yeah, this is a very, very popular commemorative. All right. I just so, saw that you had the, the paper there. I got your uh, COA things in the email, Scott, yeah. so I'll work on that for you. Okay. And now... We are on item number 11. 
which this was previewed on Monday's Talking with Tiny. Mm -hmm. This is an 1880 San Francisco Morgan Silver Dollar. Brilliant uncirculated. Just look at that cartwheel. I mean, cartwheels for days. And the back is always better. Yeah, back is always better. I swear. How does that work? Come on, people. You've got to explain it to me. But 1880, San Francisco, Morgan Silver Dollar. Beautiful condition. You'd think the dress feathers would take a beating. But yeah. You know. Yeah, but no, those are solid. Yep, Lucky Duck, baby got back. Item, that's item number 11. And then item number 12 here, we have ourselves an 1875 San Francisco. And I swear I'm not targeting San Francisco's. It's not a conspiracy. 1875 San Francisco, Seed of Liberty, 20 cent piece. So yeah, uh, folks, Folks that come on to our auctions and folks that listen to me, they know about the 20 cent piece. Uh, how back in 1875, for four years, they minted this. Uh, I would, I wouldn't say ill advised, but I mean, they had they had a bugger of a time with this. People were using it like a quarter. People were just looking over it quickly, and. Uh, it really was not very popular. Right. Sounds like another four-year series that happened about a hundred years later. Exactly, that's what I was fixing to say. Sound like sound like that other one, the Anthony. Yes, yeah, Susan B. Anthony. But here we have a twenty-cent piece from 1875. In uh, I'm giving it good details condition, but that is a very strong rim, so it might. Hit a very good, but uh, as I say, I let you be the judge. Nice details there. San Francisco Mint there at the six o'clock. And this is item number 12 for the auction. And as always, uh, Bass Man put it into the chats that uh, this. The auction uh, item list is available up online. I uh, got it on last night. And uh, let's uh, switch around some camera settings here. And uh, we'll go back to self. And okay, so we have ourselves an auction tonight. So come on by 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific over on Coins Making Sense unless you're already on Coins Making Sense, which just be right here. Uh, and uh, we try to have that for you every Wednesday night. Uh, we uh, had a problem last weekend. I had some uh, computer issues. So uh, this new behemoth down here should uh, actually uh, work pretty well for us. So uh, that should have that all straightened out. And uh, also, just for uh, folks to know, including you, Bass Man, I had mentioned it before. Right. But next week, there's not going to be an auction because I'm going to be helping to set up the uh, Michigan State uh, Numismatic Society's uh, coin show that's uh, coming up next weekend. So uh, we have a uh, table set up and uh, showcases that we need to distribute uh, Wednesday night before the show. Uh, Amy, yes, I, I got a new computer. Uh, what happened was that, uh, I was running off of a laptop from just a HP gaming laptop. Oh, when he says running off of it. He was, he was making that little sucker work. Yeah. To the point where it sounded like the plane was going to take off. And yeah, I want to say back in 
November, December, I started to have one fan issue. And I finally got a replacement part for it. it took a month to get a replacement part. Uh, so I fixed that fan. And about three, two, three weeks ago, the other fan started making noise. And it's like, oh, great. But the thing is, uh, that, com that computer, that laptop computer was being so overtaxed. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't funny. Uh, I Yeah, it only has a couple of USB ports. It has one HDMI port. Uh, but pretty much every uh, USB port on it had a uh, USB hub attached to it so I could attach more and more devices to it. Because you got to figure, I have at least three cameras here in my system setup. The coin cam, I have Mikey, and I have the uh, camera I'm looking at for the face. For the face. Uh, so three cameras. I have three printers hooked up to it because I have my mailing label printer. I have the label printer for uh, the labels that I put on the flips. And then I have a regular printer. Uh, and it's just that computer was overextended. Mm -hmm. So uh, got that taken care of, uh, picked up a computer. Uh, Kevin, don't let the Wolverine steal your signs. Well, you know what? I'll just start doing it in semaphore, and yeah, they, they won't uh, get that. Uh, they won't pick up those signs. Mm -hmm. Uh, like most people, they would know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to fix the computer because I, when I did buy the one fan, uh, it came with an entire heat sink and had the second fan with it. But uh, thing is, with how many times it was having fan problems, plus you've also you guys have also seen in the recent past. I've had a lot of issues with my cameras freezing up. Mm -hmm. uh, my key doesn't uh, connect up properly every time. So, I mean, that was another problem. So uh, instead of just trying to uh, limp along and bandage it, I went forward. I picked up a brand new system. This time I picked up a tower. Uh, I was able to put in an expansion video card, an expansion USB card, and uh, everything is now going straight to the system. It's not being extended through port replicators or anything like that. So, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, it it was definitely a process, and honestly, um, it's been just over a week now because uh i went and purchased it last wednesday that's what i was doing instead of the auction setting up uh the new computer and uh pretty much this thing is a beast i've been uh installing all of my applications i mean i had to get all of this reset up yeah. uh so that uh we could uh get uh all the cameras coming up and uh can do all the camera switching all right and okay uh, unfortunately oh you gotta trying to see we have uh being told that there was a message from silver gate around here uh asking if we need an auctioneer tonight uh honestly uh we're I gonna be back. yeah i think he'll be back uh it's just gonna be a matter of seeing uh uh when he does get back uh mm -hmm. open tiny will be here otherwise uh we'll let you, i'll let you know uh kevin's experience too I yeah. heard about that. I've done, yeah. I've done a couple of auctions myself in the past. Uh, it's just a lot easier when you have uh, people to bounce off of that because I've done 
solo auctions before and it is a marathon right. because you are doing the spreadsheet you are presenting the item you you're talk talking it up doing the hype and it's a process and it takes a lot out of you yep but yeah it wouldn't be my first rodeo oh you weren't volunteering yourself okay uh but uh i'm sure tiny is going to be back online so uh it should be it should be all good we should be all good bass man can read it right bass man can't read <laughs> <laughs> But no, but maybe if I ask very kindly, Bassman might uh, keep track of the solds and the prices. I do that. Yeah, and uh, then, then from there, I mean, yeah, I would be freed up to uh, possibly call and uh, present. Yeah. So, but you know what? I, uh, I'm, I'm trusting that Tiny will be back online in time for tonight. So. Knock on wood, hope really hard, and or particle board or whatever this desk's made out of. It won't be the same, and you know what? You are correct. It won't be the same because Tiny makes the auction. Tiny has a flair and a style all to himself. And he loves what I, he does too, and that's the important thing, you know. Yeah, he like I can substitute for him, but I cannot replace him. Right. He loves doing it. Plus, I think he would uh, get a pitchfork and come back at me if I really did. Yep. Took, oh. his, took his job from him. Yeah, that's no bueno. Hey, you know what? Uh, this, this is a good team. Mm -hmm. My Tiny, myself, and Bassman we we found a good team here and uh we're hope we're hoping we got ourselves a nice niche we got ourselves a good coin family here we got 20 party people here in, in this chat you know what if you haven't done so already hit that thumbs up show the likey likey and you know what go on over to the other stream and show the likey over there because uh those YouTube algorithms, they don't feed themselves. Uh, if it, yeah, Eddie Worley, if it ain't broke, you know the rest. Yeah, you got that right. Yeah, I would think they have internet up, you know, in a day, but you mm -hmm. never know. But, uh, yeah, and if he's listening, he could, if he really wanted to, uh, fire up that uh, mobile hotspot again. Yep. However, I don't know what their power situation is, so. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't mention anything about that. Just said that the storms knocked out their internet. All right. Well, hopefully, yeah. We, I, I am hopeful that we will see Tiny coming up for the auction tonight. Yeah. Dennis D, coins, wrestling, and fishing can't be beat. Nope. No, sir. We can drive around town, so he's got phone service. LOL. Not if I go pick him up. Yeah, that would so yeah, yeah, Compton, yeah, you can help facilitate that, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, but yeah. So, uh, Bassman, any? Yeah. Uh, did uh, Lala mention anything else, or is everything? No, just, she didn't know how I, how my text got through was one thing she said, and that. The storms had knocked them out. Mm. That's all she got through. But like I said, it was a miracle mine went through to her, and then she got one out coming back. So there, there must be something going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, 
Yeah, who knows if did the cell tower uh, lose power? Or I mean, yeah. yeah. That's the thing, you know. You don't know where where did it knock it out, and how long will it take to reroute? But that's supposed to be the big thing of the internet is that it can be rerouted so quickly. So. Yeah. Well, thing is, they're still in Kentucky, right? So yeah. I mean, I don't. I mean, cell coverage is pretty uh dense in like city areas but i don't know about right uh his particular area i don't think he's in a big city anywhere near yeah him. so uh compton yeah you can speak to this because yeah, i don't compton know that knows. i don't know that particular area but i mean yeah i know around me we have cell phone towers like every couple miles so one goes down the network interlaces Pretty well. Scott S. Kentucky got hit hard yesterday. Yep. I know it was I know it was some kind of windy here yesterday. I mean the flags were sticking straight out and, and like I say, if it wasn't nailed down, it was moving. So, mm. Yeah. It was really bad for the wind. It wasn't, you know, we had the storms. We always get things. I tell him what the weather's going to be up there because we get it the day before. <laughs> we get it the day before. Yeah. You know what? I hear that from people from Chicago. They get our weather the day before. Right. So we we told him we told him there were storms coming. Yeah. So Scott asked, let me know what the weather is like today. I I need to plan my day tomorrow. Yeah. That's right. You can, we could just all fill each other. Of course, Amy yeah, could tell us it'll be a week. You know, whatever she's getting will be here in about a week. So exactly. <laughs> you know, that's the way they used to do the weather. A lot of it. Oh yeah. They they took it from each other, from the west to the east, and just kind of changed it to fit the timing. Yeah. Uh, Scott S, we're having snow and rain showers right now, cold too. Oh, Ooh. man, I know well, our temperature dropped big time yesterday. Well, my computer's saying that it's 42 degrees outside, so I mean, yeah, that's about where we were yesterday, too. Silver Gator eclipse on Sunday, I thought it was on Monday. Yeah, he's trying to make me miss it. Man, come on. What did you, what did we do to you, bro? But you know what? Yeah, uh, talking about that eclipse. Uh, who here uh, remembers the last solar eclipse that we had? Uh, what was it? Twenty seventeen. Yeah, there was one. Twenty seventeen was the last big full one, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, there have been other full ones. It's just that they weren't happening here in the U.S. Right. Oh, no, that's what I meant right here that we we experienced. Tiny and I were looking for one the other day that had happened in the past because I told him I, I know about what year it was. Mm -hmm. It had to be close to, to 1980. Mm -hmm. And I was telling him that I watched it on the trunk of my car. You know, hmm. it was. I could see the the outline of the sun and moon on the on the trunk of my car the way it was lit up and so i could watch it stood with the sun to my back and had the had the trunk where it could see you know could wasn't in my shadow and i could see the i could see the eclipse that way i don't know if it was a complete total eclipse or mm. not so but i do remember watching one like that but it was around 80. I remember one in the 90s, I want to say around 93. Uh, I was in high school and uh, our science class all went outside to see it. It wasn't a total eclipse. It's what they call an right. annular eclipse. Right. And uh, what the annular eclipse means is that the moon is still between us and the sun, but it the moon is further back in its orbit. And so we're further back. It's not close. It's not close enough in order to right. block the entire sun. Right. So 
uh, when the sun is covered, it just it's a ring around a ring. You just see the corona, the atmosphere of the sun. And uh, that is, well, that's where the word annular actually means ring. Right. Ring. So, they, so. Uh, they are talking, you don't know, it's not total everywhere. Um, Correct. You know, just, oh, yeah. Like by me, half. yeah, like me, it's uh, 99% complete. Right. Now, see, we're in the hunt, we're in the hundreds, but we're, we're in, it only lasts three minutes and something here, whereas it's four minutes if you're right on the line. And yeah. the, uh, they're talking about blocking streets and all, because there's going to be so much, they're telling people to go buy their gas, to go buy their food. And, you know, because you won't be able to get out and get groceries or, or anything because of the number of people that will be in town. Oh yeah. Just especially if you're in the path of totality. Yep. And my wife is saying that, that there are places where the farmers and the, and the ranch people are property owners are leasing it out. Oh a yeah. Place to camp for them to sit out and watch it. You know, oh, yeah. all the lights and, and everything. I've heard uh, Airbnbers are uh, renting out uh, their places that are in the path of totality for like yeah. seven hundred dollars a night. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a wonder. But I mean, I was one of the people that was chasing it uh, the last time uh, back in seventeen, and uh, me and some friends went down to uh, Tennessee to go see it, and. Uh, we were able to get in there. We uh, we were just driving around. We found this uh, park ground where uh, they were having a uh, eclipse festival, and it was just a bunch of vendors that were there selling food and selling wares, and uh, just this big empty old field where people were yeah. just all laying out trying to see the eclipse. Right, and uh, to leave the lights off in this town. They want them to turn the lights off so they don't come on when the when the eclipse happens. Mm -hmm. um, they want to set the lights to where they wouldn't come on. They said, no, that would be a hazard. So they won't. I can't believe it's going to be that dark. But, you know, that the people can't see to drive and whatnot. But Yeah. But, yeah, this time, yeah. Michigan's going to be at 99% uh, complete. There's actually like one town in the very lower corner of Michigan that's going to have it 100% complete. Yeah. And yeah, if you're in Luna Pier or you're in Temperance, good for good on for you. And you know what? Yeah. I mean, I'm what I'm about 30 miles north of there, 30 or 40 miles north. Yeah. It'll be ninety nine percent here. It'll yeah. be good enough. That's and I actually idea. still have I still have my mylar glasses from the nineties. So yeah, I've got some. I've got some in a drawer over here, and my wife got a pair the other day and has them sitting on top of the TV stand. So we're mm -hmm. we're covered. All right. Well, you know, there's all kinds of ways to look at it. There's like uh, if you put a pinhole at the back of a box and uh, you point that pinhole towards the sun, then uh, the light come, shines through and you can watch the eclipse on the other side of the box. Right. And I'd sit, like I say, I sat and watched it on a car trunk one time. It wasn't as clear as anything. Uh, and CBS, the network, is advertising that they're going to cover it. Mm. You're gonna break, you know, in and and watch it, so you can watch it on TV. Yeah, Scott. And maybe Esta. in your area, it's doing that too. Mm -hmm. Scott S does that. It only lasts about three minutes. Mm -hmm. The totality lasts about three minutes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the entire process takes a few hours. Right. Because uh, you're gonna see it where it's going to 
partially cover it, partially cover it. Then you have your totality and then it's going to be going off. But yeah, that totality is going to be about three to four minutes, depending on where you're at. On where you're at. Yeah. And uh, somebody was mentioning, yeah, welding goggles, silver gator. Uh, you use the welding goggles. The, that's another thing that uh, will let you do it. Yeah. Just now, don't look at it. <laughs> yeah. Just don't look straight at the sun. I would, I would wonder about taking pictures of it with a digital camera because they could burn out the sensors, I would think. But yeah, I'm not see. positive of that. Let me see if I can find this. I don't, I don't think I have it on this computer yet, but uh, you know what? I have it on my phone. Uh, during the last eclipse, I actually was able to take pictures on my then cell phone. But the trick becomes, how do you, you know, how yeah. do you look at it? Yeah, oh yeah. That was a good picture. Yeah. But yeah, just, but I mean, yeah, I was taking pictures of it at the right. different phases. I've got some pictures like that or moon. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's the actually the sun. But what I was doing was I had, I was taking the camera and I put the Mylar glasses over the uh, lenses. Ah, yeah. That would make sense. Like there's somebody said, use a polarized filter. Um, I would think that would work, but I'm like I say, I'd still check with some experts or something about it because it, I don't know how sensitive those things are, but they mm -hmm. can. Oh yeah, because yeah, you, you don't know how sensitive the LCD chip, the not LCD, but the CCD chips are. Yeah, and if you get you know, you'd hate to run a you know thousand dollars worth of camera or something to oh, no, exactly, yeah. get one one almost visible picture of the sun. I mean, yeah, but yeah, how expensive is a each alpha filter or a right. mile, or a uh, solar filter? I mean, right. yeah, those things are costly. They they I remember, sell. I remember looking for one when I used to have a Schmidt Cassegrain uh, telescope. Right. Yeah, those things are expensive. Right. They sell sheets of that stuff that's like in glasses, mm -hmm. but they sell it in bigger sheets that you can buy. But it, they're not that expensive, but they're, they're pretty high. No, but in all honesty, it would be what? You get a Mylar balloon. Get a, yeah, get a Mylar balloon. Get Right. Take the back of it that has no uh, graphic on it, and there you go. That that's what that material is. It's thick mylar. Mm -hmm. But Wait do you believe we're past an hour? I was just fixing to say we have been an hour and four minutes. And you know what? We haven't even acknowledged everybody that's just come in in the last few minutes. No. EMR coins is in the house silver wolverine i see that you sent an email i saw the notification and i will respond to you as soon as i can man uh emr eric great seeing you great seeing you oh uh, you drove to the hills and had a blast you, uh, you know what that, that's what it's all about because i mean it was a great experience being amongst a lot of people taking in that awe-inspiring moment right and the fact that it's happening this upcoming Monday, it's mind blowing. And uh, beyond that, uh, just trying to think, uh, what else was I trying? Okay, I got squirreled. So uh, yeah, Scott, Scott's got the idea. And hope it's got clear skies that day. Because oh no, yeah, how that, much mile are you got if you ain't got the sun yeah if you don't yeah if you if you have cloudy skies it's blocked yeah i mean yeah a good thing it was happening in august last time yeah we had clear mm -hmm. skies right over a lot of the country april right here the way things go we get clouds mm-hmm 
That'd be just right. my luck. Rent, rent the property to all the people to camp out and stay there and look at it and all that and then not have it. <laughs> oh, now I remember what I was going to say. Uh, for those of us who were traveling to try to see the eclipse. Yeah. How was your trip back? I know for me, I was stuck in a traffic jam for 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And eventually we we were moving at 10 miles an hour on the expressway because there was nowhere to go. That's we what they're saying here. here. Eventually got off onto off the expressway and found a town that just I was able to get a reservation at for the night, but it was it was tough making it right. back. Well, that's what they're saying here, and they're saying that so many people will be buying gas and everything that stations will run out and all. Yeah. So be prepared. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. Strange. But folks, I'm receiving email messages from work and I'm receiving email messages from all around. So I do need to get going. Well, uh, let me sign off first and then you right. shut her down. Uh, hello, Bill Driscoll. Um, yeah, y'all come back tonight now. And uh, as he's signing out, I'll try to post the, the links again. But um, We'll be back here at six. So come with us and have a good time. Till then, I'm wishing I was fishing. Bye. All right, folks, I want to thank you all for coming on out today. Uh, I mean, we've been in the mid 20s pretty much the entire stream now. And I want to thank you, each and every one of you, for coming on out. We can't do this without you. Uh, as Bassman was saying, we have an auction tonight here on Coins Making Sense. Twelve wonderful items, uh, a lot of them asked for by you guys, and uh, we try to deliver. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you tonight at the auction. But for now, I'm Kevin with Coins Making Sense, your spot for the dissemination of information to the numismatic nation. Thank you very much, everybody, and I'll see you at the auction. Bye.